Welcome, in this video we are going to learn TLSSS, LED and SSL split information gathering tool in Linux. Let's see about TLSS LED package first. TLSS LED is Linux shell script whose purpose is to evaluate the security of a target SSL or TLS web server implementation. It is based on SSL scan, a thorough SSL or TLS scanner that is based on OpenSSL library and on the OpenSSL S client command line tool. The current tests include checking if the target supports the SSL v2 protocol, the null cipher, weak cipher based on their key length, the availability of strong ciphers, if the digital certificate is MD5 signed, and the current SSL or TLS renegotiation capabilities. Let's open up TLSS LED, go to Application, Information Gathering option, SSL Analysis, TLSS LED or open terminal and type TLSS LED. Here we can see that syntax of TLSS LED tool that is user bin TLSS LED, hostname or IP address, space port. Let's check SSL TLS on the host and port. Now go to Windows desktop, open up command prompt, type ipconfig. Here you can see that IP address. Let's go back to Kali. Type TLSS LED 192.168.0.5443. TLS LED tool is checking on 192.168.0.5 IP address. Double four three port. Here you can see that processing start analyzing SSL or TLS on our target machine. We can see that SSL scan is running on 192.168.0.5 machine 443 port. This tool is checked with SSL scan, MITM vulnerability that is man in middle attack vulnerability, client authentication using digital certificate and so on. Here you can see that final output as a new file is created in output directory TLSS LED 1.3 192.168.0.5 443 2017612 and so on. So that's it in TLSS LED tool. Next we are going to learn SSL split tool in Linux. SSL split package. SSL split is a tool for man in the middle attacks against SSL or TLS encrypted network connections. Connections are transparently intercepted through a network address translation engine and redirected to SSL split. SSL split terminates SSL or TLS and initiates a new SSL or TLS connection to the original destination address. While logging all data transmitted, SSL split is intended to be useful for network forensic and penetration testing. SSL split supports plain TCP, plain SSL, HTTP and HTTPS connection or both IPv4 and IPv6 for SSL and HTTP connections. SSL split generates and signs forged X509v3 certificate on the fly based on original server certificate subject DN and subject alt name extension. SSL split fully supports server name indication and is able to work with RSA, DSA and ECDSA keys and DHE and ECDHE cipher suits. SSL split can also use existing certificate of which private key is available instead of generating forged ones. SSL split supports null prefix CN certificates and can deny OCSP request in a generic way. SSL split removes HPKP response headers in order to prevent public key pinning. Let's open up terminal, type SSL split, space hyphen headers. Here you can see that different option of SSL split tool. Here we can see that the basic syntax of SSL split, SSL split option, proxy spaces. Here you can see that SSL split options are hyphen C, prem file, use CA cert from prem file to sign forged certs, K file, 
you see a key from pen file to sign forged cert hyphen c pen file you see a chain from pen file hyphen k pen file use key from pen file for leaf certs and so on here you can see that the syntax and example of ssl split in console ssl split space hyphen key c dot key c dot pen hyphen p https on the sign 0.0.1 8443 HTPS 18443 run in debug mode. Log the connection that is L, set the crawl jail that is hyphen J, save files to disk that is hyphen S, specify the key that is hyphen K, hyphen K, CA dot key, specify the suit that is CA dot CRT, specify SSL that is SSL. Configure proxy that is 127.0.01, 8443 and TCP. So that's it in this video on TLSS LED and SSL split information gathering tool in Linux. Thank you for watching this video.